Hello and welcome once again, fellow gaming fans. This is Small Archangel. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Conan Exiles Series 3 Savage Lands. We are nearing the end of our series now, but we are still playing around with a few things. As you can see for the waving palm trees here, we have put in another mod so that we can play around with gardening, which is going to come in nice and handy for our new base in the north as well. Uh, so we're going to try a little bit of that and do a little bit of gardening too. Um, that uh, is a mod that allows us to place plantables. Um, they're nothing. It's not a farming mod. It just allows us to place um, cosmetic items in the world. And you can see we make a little garden bed, which is basically the workbench, which allows us to craft these items. And we use just plant fiber, wood, branches, and bark to create that. And then most of the plants just use plant fiber, so it's child's play with a sickle. <clears throat> you don't even need a particularly um, high-end sickle to gather plenty of plant fiber and uh, go bananas so uh, we're going to do a bit of that i'm not going to go crazy but we'll just we'll have a little bit of that uh but we've brought you here today uh, to the pyramid to do a little bit of shopping now uh, i mentioned before i went away in the summer i mentioned uh, our sort of the economy system which is comes along with a pippy mod we've got um we get paid and I think no, she's got it set to nine gold and about nine gold fifty silver or something along those lines per day. Uh, and you get that when you're online, and I believe you get it while you're offline as well. I'm not sure if we get the same thing, the same amount if we're being offline as being online, but we certainly get uh, we certainly get um, paid one way or the other, and we can use that money. Uh, we haven't got taxes or anything else, though that could be done to you on a Pippi mod. We, what we do have is merchants. This is a banker, but that is Nush's banker. Mine is back at the base, and I'll set her up with her own proper little bank, um, a little uh, sort of banking desk and everything once I get uh, things sorted. But you can see we've got four merchants here. We've got a potion of dice maker, Kashora there, and then we've got an uh, armor trader here, Darim Theresh. Really? And you can see what he uh, usually has in stock, though it has to be said that he has sold out of quite a number Good of his go luck. goods there. Um, and then we have Hravla the Hairy, who's Greetings. an arms dealer, and he he deals in uh, like look at it, Aquilonian, Aquilonian gear. Um, which is really nice. So these four merchants, there's another one here, that guy sitting on the ground, who's the one I'm interested in for the moment. These four merchants sell to us things that are difficult to get in-game or uh, you have to learn the feats. And for those of us that don't have, even with our Litman set level 78 mod, I am now, by the way, level 64, going on 65, uh, you still never have enough feats to actually be able to uh, purchase everything that you want. And of course... Welcome. What else you can see? What else we can do here? You've got the I've got various decorative items from the two DLC in here: the blue for the Aquilonian and the gold for the Chitin. Uh, and I already have one of these things as a Chitin Zeng, and I already have one of those because I bought it. But I could also equally buy any of the other things. Now I could already make the Aquilonian stuff myself, so there's no point in getting that. But anything in a Chitin range that I fancy is you know easy easy money i mean i've got you can see i've got here this isn't my whole bank account i've got nine gold uh 87 82 bronze uh, sorry silver and 15 bronze there uh and each of these items costs a certain amount about three is it what does this cost it says here oh that is two silver that's all so but i already have one of those now that kind of screen is quite nice but chiefly what i want is these carpets here and as you can see that's really cheap actually this one is only 35 all right bronze so i'm going to buy that and you can see it's disappeared now sold out so it's quite a, a realistic mod from that point of view and i'm having yeah, the other carpet yeah. too yeah yeah he's obviously not particularly interested in my custom is he and then i might take that little chitin table as well i'm not sure um let's see if there's anything else in here that i'd really like i quite like that chitin drum actually oh, no. for my music room there we go but anyway, Take we can care. come back here any time we like to buy some more stuff if we want to, and I will probably do that once we've got the decor in the new base more or less sorted out. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a little bit of moving. Uh, I desperately need to get the place sorted out because at the moment it's such a nightmare. I can't tell what's supposed to go where. I'm losing things, and I really need to get my affairs in order. So we're going to head back to the base, and uh, I'm going to show you the work I've done because it is more or less built now. 
I haven't built the temple area, but that's the only thing to be done. Um, and we're going to be doing that and getting that finished before the end of the series as well. Um, but uh, I will see you guys back at base. Well, here we are, folks. Welcome to Angel's New Villa. It's uh, not decorated at all yet, so it looks a little bit on the Spartan side. Uh, but it's pretty much built. As I say, not built the temple area yet, but the rest of it is pretty much there. So it's built all the way around the, court, the central courtyard, which is what you guys saw last. But you can see I've even got crenellations on the roof now. I've got both, uh, both floors in place. Um, it's annoying that those stairs, corner of stairs bug out still. I'm hoping that'll be fixed before too much longer. I've got uh, a great big gateway here. Unfortunately, I've had to use doorways rather than walls there because walls won't go through the gateway, which makes uh, building gate gatehouses a little bit awkward. But I've got a couple of sort of pointed bits of roof on top of the uh, roof. Um, uh, rooftops on top of the towers which looks pretty cool actually I love the Aqu Aquilonian roofs the tiles are gorgeous and we've got made good use of some uh, sort of awnings here as well particularly useful for kind of covering up here because these walls needed really to be outside walls on both sides which isn't really possible so we've got a little entrance courtyard area here and then we go into the base itself and again you've got this little courtyard here which goes all the way around we've got two sets of actual doors and the rest of doorways just so you don't get completely lost whereabouts you sort of facing um and you can see the breach in the distance and basically as we go around here we've got four sets of rooms we've got a room here which is going to be our kitchen area uh, and then we've got a room here which is going to be our crafting area and you can see i've placed a single chest here so far um, which is so I can ship things out of there. And then we've got a room here, which is going to be our dining room area. Uh, and there's doors that lead out to the, uh, to the back end of the base as well. And then through here, which is going to be a living room area. And we've got two elevators, one on either side of the base, um, in a kind of symmetrical kind of way. And if we hop in this one, go on up. And I'll show you upstairs. Now this, just open the door. There we go. We've got a nice little terrace area above uh, the grass courtyard down there. Uh, and this has got some sort of little shelter, porch shelters as well, just because I think they look great. I've never made that much use of them in the past, but uh, I think under these circumstances, actually, they look fantastic. So I've got a few of those. I've got a bit of a spare uh, space uh, here with not a lot going on, and I'm going to put a statue there. So we've got some serious decorating to do today. So what we're going to chiefly try and do, we might do a bit of decorating outside to make the place look a bit more... Um, completed and then we're going to see if we can get things moved into our crafting area just because it's driving me nuts to do anything else now these little doors here don't lead to anywhere very much but they are going to be my compost holes basically i don't like the compost heaps sort of sitting out in uh, where they're visible so i'm going to put a compost heap in each of those and then basically we're going to have some planters around this place whoa what was that that was a little bit strange only one very very dark um we're gonna have some planters because i want to be able to grow a few things up here and we'll have more planters elsewhere later on as well um but that is it as it stands and uh to the right here this is going to be my armory in here and then through here and i'm telling you this because i'm going to do a lot of this off camera through here is going to be the master bedroom so that's going to be where I'm going to put my bedroom things and my wardrobes are going to be mostly in the armory. And then on this side, we're going to have guest accommodations. So here I'm probably going to have my banker in the corner there, but then we're going to have guest accommodations. So I'm going to have uh, lots of beds here and uh, probably a dancer when I get hold of one as well and just chests for people to put their stuff. So that's going to be clan accommodation there. So there we go. That's uh, that's how it is. And we've got a lift on this side as well. And there it is at the moment. I have to call this one from the outside, just the peculiarity of which way around the lift ends up going. There we are. So we're going to head out. Is that the right direction? Yes, it is. Now, at the moment... At the moment, there's not much to show in this direction. See? Mm -hmm. Not a lot there, really. Just kind of points out towards the breach. And we've just got our stairs here, as you saw them in the last episode where I was building. Okay, so we'll just jump through there for the moment. And we will do some decorating in our outside area here. Now, I've been grinding for resources, as per usual. So we've got, hopefully, plenty of resources to do this with. I'm going to 
put those out of my hot bar so I've got room enough to do this. So I've got a couple of things in uh, stuff in chests all over the place. I've got this here uh, and I'm wanting to make some more Aquilonian things. Now obviously the Statue of Refreshment is something I've loved for a long time anyway and it is kind of exactly fitting for the Aquilonian environment so it's perfect for that. Um, but we also need a few of these items too. So I'm not sure if I'll have enough stone. It has a way of getting through it pretty quick really but we're going to need four of these so we're going to make four of those for a start off and <clears throat> then i'm going to need some flags too and i'm going to make two of these ones there we go you can see i've got the items i need for crafting these in here at least thus far i have we're going to need some statues as well we're going to want two of those and you see each of those uses a hundred so that's pretty expensive and then we're going to need some of these and they actually take 250 so we're going to need more stone in there to be able to gather those to be able to do those so for the moment i'm just going to stick with what we've got here and they should be in my hot bar and they're not there we go for the moment we'll just do that oh and we need these ones also all right so we're going to put whoops one of these now this is where it gets a bit difficult so i'll go into first person because it can be a little bit easy to see what you're doing in first person we'll try and place that sort of nicely square on that side and then on this side it's going to look a little different perhaps and it's perhaps even going to refuse to place because the ground isn't level okay okay so that one's going to be awkward or maybe it's because he's there. I'm not sure. Let's just try moving him. Go over there out of my way. And we'll see. No, I don't think it is. My All my fighters are going to have to be moved at some point anyway. So not sure about what, that, what to do with that one. Where's the nearest place I can put it? Absolutely nowhere it appears. So... That's not so cool. Maybe what I need to do is build a foundation there and then place it on that. And I'll do the same on the other side. Uh, that's fine. We'll leave that for the moment. Okay, so we've got these. Oops, and I didn't want to do that. We just want to turn these around. And I rather like these statues. I think they're rather lovely. Now, what's going to be difficult is judging whether they are in the right position, straight, and not clipping through the wall that's clipping through so i think that's about right let's just have a little look yeah that's pretty good actually and we'll have another one on the other side the same i think we finally have it that one was much more awkward to place and now we have a sandstorm which is terrific because that means i can't actually really see what i'm doing but i want to place a couple of flags here as well and what we need to do with these is place them straight as we can just looking straight at them and I want to put that pretty much in that corner there there we go and we'll do the same on the other side these ones at least I don't need to be staring quite so closely at but that one does not want to place at all for some reason there there we go lovely all right so that's given us a little bit more to deal with there now i'm going to move some of my fighters you nordheimer fighter three now i probably yeah you'll do let's just move him we'll move him to guard the front of my building here there we are and we'll have another one on the other side nordheimer archer no we want a fighter braggy the bold i'll keep them on the inside i think nordheimer fighter three come with me you're going on guard duty there we go i'll keep my named ones on the inside i think just to make sure they don't oh too close to another thrall that's annoying there we go two of them guarding my front gates which is fab there we are so that's worked nicely now we're going to head through into our little courtyard and as i say i'm going to mess about with gardening for this as well to see what can be done 
Um, but for the moment, and there's grass growing in this, unfortunately, which isn't fab. But let's just see. Does that look straight if I put that in there? Not even vaguely. Not even slightly. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Absolutely do not destroy the thing. Okay, let me just try that again. So, back to the door, and then we know we're straight that way. And then this time, I just need to put, because I think it was straight in all the respects, I just need to put it a lot further over that way. And then hope that it is still too far across. Okay. Well, third time lucky then. Okay, that is about as in the middle as I'm going to get it for the time being, I think. Goodness knows it doesn't look that in the middle anyway, but it pretty much is. So that gives well, almost. That gives us. Uh, then an easy source of water without having to go outside, which is fantastic. And also it looks pretty good. I don't want to put foundations there to put it on. I'm quite happy with a little sunken garden. I don't want to put any steps in because they'll take up the remaining space. So I'm going to put some planting in there as well. We're going to have a mess with that off camera, I think. And then there's just a couple more things that I wanted to put upstairs. For the minute, we're going to put a couple of these torches up here well they're not torches they're more like braziers really and we're going to put those one here there we go and one here and there's an extremely large aquilonian brazier which we're going to make use of as well but for the moment that's going to give us sufficient light now alex gave me some of the wall torches which is great we're going to have to use some of those uh but i can't remember where i've put them and this is my problem folks i can't remember where i put anything at the moment because this place is just in total chaos because i haven't been in a position to put anything in a logical position so we've got some torches somewhere that we're going to be able to place but for the moment i'm going to have to gather some more stone unfortunately in order to craft ourselves the statues that we want and then we will try and move some things into our new base because quite frankly it's driving me crazy at the moment Okay, we should have enough stone now to make what I want to make. And we've got these three statues here, which are all absolutely enormous. And I want to be able to make one of each of those. So I'm going to have to replenish my stone there to make the third. So we've got the statue with the sh uh, spear, I think. We've got a statue kind of leaning on his sword. And then we've got a female statue there. I'm going to make that as well. Okay, there we go. And for the moment, I'm going to put more stone in there because a lot of decorations need stone, actually. And for the moment, we're going to leave it at that. Now, I'm encumbered. Why am I encumbered? I am carrying a lot of stuff. That's why. So let's just put the bearer backpack on and then we can actually move. There we go. Fantastic. Now, I need... I've got these... Uh, let's see. We're going to need to put two of these statues, which will unencumber us nicely just inside the main gate so we're going to go up here and then close those gates just to make sure that they're not in our way and i'm going to put this statue here which is a great big statue of a sort of a vaguely roman looking warrior big bad warrior and this is where i thank the lord for pippi plus because sorry for pickup mod And this is where I thank my lucky stars for the pickup mod because without it, no doubt I'd be placing this stupidly and then I wouldn't actually be able to ever pick it up again and alter it. You see, that is actually clipping through the wall. So I need to place that a little bit more carefully. So I need to make sure it's not clipping through the wall. Just place it a little bit further forward. And that is better that time. And then we do the same thing with this female version on the other side oops she's not very straight and we'll try and place her as straight as she can on there and then again i just yep that's pretty good actually she's not clipping through either and you can see how humongous the pair of them actually are and then we're going to head through here and our third and final statue is going to go upstairs on our sort of balcony area overlooking the breach so between these two braziers we're gonna have our aquilonian warrior 
here. It's facing the right direction, I think. Yes. And smack bang in the middle. And I said I was going to use a mixture of tier 3 to... Uh, yep, yeah, that's pretty much perfect. Uh, I said I was going to use a, a mixture of tier 3, and I think that the tier 3 reinforced stone made of uh, hardened bricks actually looks pretty good as an outside balcony, and I've also used that for the roof. So if you look up here where my roof is, um, I've also got the roof made out of these as well, because uh, in my opinion, the marble stuff just doesn't make uh, the right kind of roof, but it ties in quite, turns in quite nicely with the Aquilonian tiles. It's a shame we don't have a sort of a flat Aquilonian tile uh, roof piece, but uh, uh, we don't, unfortunately. And then, as I say, you can see the little roof caps on top of my towers there, which look pretty cool as well. So, so that's looking nice. Now, I just need some planters up here, and I will make some, but for the time being, we're going to leave that, and we're going to try, as I say, to move into my... Oh, my elevators here already. Yes, we're going to move some stuff into these rooms down here. So this one's going to be my kitchen. That is not my major priority. At the moment, I don't have any cooking apparatus here anyway. So we're going to concentrate on this room here, which is going to be the uh, room where we're going to have most of our crafting facilities. So I've got this chest here, and that is so that we can... Now I've got a bunch of these here, actually, but I'm going to leave those for the moment as well. I'm going to put them all over the place. I already know where a lot of them are going to go, but uh, I'm not going to bother about those too much for the moment oh we're probably going to put a couple of um braziers or something in it oh i'll probably use the aquilonian torches actually which hang from the from the porch and um that will probably be the best thing there for a bit of lighting i'm not sure if i've got what it takes to craft those for the moment if i do i will make them um let's see what do we need for these oh yes there we go we can make two of those there we go, so that's going to give us sufficient lighting. I can't put those in there, unfortunately. I will have to put those in my chest, which is full of base pieces. There we are. Uh, and then I've got this tanning rack, which I want to place. I made that earlier because I wanted to make sure that uh, I had... That's one of the things I haven't got here currently. The other thing we haven't got, of course, is armourer benches. Uh, advanced armor smithing benches so we need some of those I believe we need some th oh gosh what do we make them out of actually let's just do a check here armorers benches the improved ones we just need the oh steel reinforcements actually and they're in here so we get that and we'll see if we've got enough there and we'll put that in again there we go and we can make two fantastic so there we'll do that there we go, finally, and uh, then we have the unfortunate task of picking up some of this other stuff, um, which is kind of going to encumber us hugely, but there's not a lot we can really do about that. Now, um, I'll take the carpenter's bench first, maybe, uh, but we've got three forges to take, three, three furnaces, rather, to take, and we've got all this stuff inside of them. Uh, so what I might do, actually, is place the benches we've got, and then we could use those as storage as well. I always knew this was going to be a pain doing this, but it must be done. Otherwise, we're never going to be uh, organised. Right, here we go. So this is where I thought putting these might be good. Possibly in the centre there. Or maybe I just need the one of them rather than two. I don't know. Maybe maybe we should just put one there. I don't need to do that. And then we'll move that one. And maybe then we can put one in here as well. So maybe we should put one uh, here. I'm not sure. Maybe it would be better having the wall torches down here. But uh, for the moment I shall leave that. Right. So we've got armour as benches to place. And I think... I'm going to put those, if they'll fit, right about here. Let's just place one there. Preferably not clipping through the wall, because that doesn't look cool. There. And another one next to it. Can we fit both? Almost. Let's just move one of them over a little bit. I have to be so careful not to accidentally destroy things. That's my favourite trick. Unfortunately, it's my least favourite trick, but I am quite good at it. Accidentally hitting destroy instead of play, pick up. There. 
and then just about fit that one next to it there we go lovely okay so that's my armor smithing benches now i'm planning on putting the furnaces at this end here and then we'll have our and artisan's bench which wants to go there and that's going to make it a lot easier for us to sort of place things where we want them to go uh, my tanner's bench is here and my tanner's bench i will put here this is a nice big room so everything should fit she says hopefully i certainly hope it will there that's fine that goes there nicely and i have thralls for most of these benches i don't think i've got any armorers yet for these uh i will need some uh, and then my carpenter and my blacksmith will kind of go here and then as i say my furnace is at that end so let's see if we can't shift some of this other stuff painful as it might be at least we have the ability now to move things around a little bit Okay, so hopefully we're going to be able to pick up this now. There we go. And we are encumbered, unfortunately. So I might have to drop something else. Otherwise, it'll take us three weeks just to get to our base. Uh, let's see. I've put a lot of the contents of this in to there. So there we go. We'll put that in there as well. And I've got the smelter along with us. So we'll head off. And we're going to have to do this one at a time. And there's just no avoiding that. This is what you have to do when you move house. Well, in a game, it's very, very similar. So we're going to put our furnaces against this wall here, I think. I would put them here, actually. That might look quite good. But actually, I think we're probably better off having some storage there. So we'll place our workbenches here. And is that right? Yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. And then we'll put our smelter back in there. Oh, yeah, he's already in there. There we go. And then we need to put the fuel in there too. And then we can put in these glass flasks also. And that metal. Oops. And that's one of them in place at least. You can see there's probably a little bit of space there for some storage, but not tons. And then the other two furnaces are going to go there. And then here is where our uh, carpenter and our uh, blacksmith is going to go and our artisan's bench, uh, bench, our artisan's bench there. Okay, there we go. That's more or less it. We need some storage in here, of course. So I'll probably put some crates around the place and all chests. We've got this wood chest here at the moment and I'll probably put some crates there actually as well. Uh, and uh, it'd be nice if I could fit something in there, but I don't think I'll be able to because there's not a big enough space. Um, but I'll probably be able to fit a chest in there as well. So and definitely some storage here down the side of the furnaces. So I think this is going to be, uh, this is going to be pretty good. I don't think I've got anything else to fit in there. I don't think I've missed anything else, uh, anything out. You can see that I need a couple of armorers for there and, uh, an armorer would work well in the uh, artisan table as well because all you know that will um, reduce the price uh, for um, of things for the, for crafting. They reduce significantly, especially if you can get a tier three or a named. It will significantly reduce the cost of them of crafting uh, all recipes basically and i do have a tanner somewhere i couldn't lift her up i couldn't pick her up but i do have a tanner somewhere uh to put in there as well so we'll go and see what thralls we've got just see if we've got any thralls in uh, on ice so to speak you can see this place looks rather more uh, empty right now i do have some thralls somewhere i just don't remember where i've put them story of my life at the moment not in there and definitely not in there. Okay, I have no clue where my thralls are. Definitely have some somewhere. Oh, here we go, look. I have a bearer, which is nice. Uh, but I also have a tanner there. So, and then we've got so much stuff that I need to put in storage. It's untrue. All of these storage chests need to go in there as well. Plus all of this stuff here. So I've got my work cut out for me. You can see I've got all these crates here which also need oh look there we go we've got a legendary armorer which i'd forgotten about completely and we've also got another blacksmith um not that i need it necessarily because i've only got the one 
uh, space for a blacksmith at the moment. And then I've got some thespians as well. I've got a medicine man, which will be good for when we... Uh, oh, I've got a small crate too. There we go. That's a start. But I will move these crates into there as well. Those ones I won't because they don't look so great. But all these crates I will. And I'll make some more crates too. And obviously, this is going to go in my kitchen area. That isn't going to go in at all because there's no point. The fluid press will, of course. Um, and uh, we'll build some more fancy furniture to go inside it as well and then when the place is furnished which is what i'm gonna do off camera as i say i'll do that off camera when the place is furnished then we've got our temple area to attend to as well um which i will show you guys as well there we go i'll just eat a drink because that generally speaking is what i forget to do whilst uh whilst building there we are so the place is looking pretty nice i think we're going to want some statues and things here as well uh some decor items i'll also have some sort of fighters here too and i'm going to put my archers on the roof so as i say i've got my work cut out for me here to uh get all my remaining stuff shifted over from the palisaded area i've tried to put my palisades somewhere around the outside of my structure but it wouldn't have it they wouldn't go which is why i left them there but what i might do is place them around they're not particularly attractive but i might place them around this structure here and that is going to act as my horde magnet my purge magnet and keep the purge away from my actual base um, although i will have archers on the roof to defend it and also i've got a couple of doormen there to defend it and i will have uh, some fighters around the other side of it as well for the moment my fighters will just stay put but i'll put some archers on the roof now i can't actually pick them up but I'm, and so I'm going to have to undress them in order to be able to put them there. Now he's just a fighter, so he can stay put. So how many archers do I have? I have one archer there, and two. That's another one there. I think I think I have about four of them, but I could do with more than that. Four. four so that's three, four, five. I think I have five then. Oh, six. There we go. I've got six of them. So I've got six archers I can play on, place on the roof. I could probably do with another couple of them, actually. Oh, look at that. I've put those too far back. I'm going to have to move those now because they just look terrible. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave this episode for now. As I say, I've got lots to do in the meantime. Um, not so much resource grinding now, but just getting all my stuff in order and uh, furnishing the place as well, which is going to re require a certain amount of resource grind. And we're not quite finished with the build either just yet. But I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the base as well. And I hope you'll join us for the next episode well, we'll be doing something a little bit different uh, on Saturday. Um, I hope so. Well, we'll see if we'll get some of the gang around then as well. Okay, guys, so... Okay, guys, so if you like the episode, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, feel free to leave me your comments and suggestions, etc. And I hope to see you next time we play Conan Exile Savage Lands. Till then, keep gaming, keep surviving, and stay happy. Bye-bye for now.